Cisco Umbrella supports what we call a roaming client. And depending on how you've got it configured to operate, you're gonna be able to interact with your clients in different ways. So let's go through it real quick. Uh, in this scenario, we've got uh, effectively three different users. We've got company A in the blue, company uh, B in the green here, and then we've got another user uh, that's located at a coffee shop. So basically three of us here. Now, depending on the way that you connect to Umbrella, you're gonna have different capabilities in terms of what Umbrella can do for you. You see, if you were to install an agent on the endpoint, what that agent's gonna do is it's gonna have a unique identifier for your company. Uh, and that unique identifier is embedded in the download when you download the agent. Then that agent, which is customized for you, is gonna include a unique identifier in all the DNS lookups. Now the cool thing about that is even when you go to other devices, I'm sorry, even when you travel to other locations with the same device, when you do those lookups, your public IP address is gonna change. But even though it's changing, we still know that it's you. So when we talk about doing umbrella, typically maybe we set it up at a particular site, we force all traffic to go through this router, so everybody's traffic is gonna be protected. When the traffic leaves that router, it all comes from the same public IP address. So we know which you know, particular IP addresses uh, go with which users. That's pretty straightforward. But as far as this roaming client goes, uh, just realize that there's basically two approaches to this. You can use a standalone agent called the umbrella client. Um, the umbrella client is supported on Windows and Mac. It's not supported on Linux but it gives us the ability to basically take all of our DNS queries, encapsulate them, punt them to the cloud, and when we do so, we're gonna include a unique identifier. What does that do for us? Well, it makes sure that whenever traffic is coming from company B, we can apply a policy for company B. If traffic's coming from company A, we can use their policy. Uh, now, when we look at this, we said the user that's at the coffee shop doesn't have the, let's say that they don't have the agent installed. Well, the user at co company A does. Let's say that they've got the standalone client. So just a regular umbrella client over here. And at company B, we've got somebody that has the module. Uh, the module is an add-on for AnyConnect. And it still does the same thing it takes that organizational ID and it's gonna embed it in this particular agent. So whenever you do lookups, we go, okay, yes, you're connecting to Umbrella, yes, you're valid, and we know that it's you, we can use a company-specific policy. Remember, with the right licensing, we can come in here, we can create content filters. So I could say, you know, you can't trade stocks between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Employees thinking, well, that's when the market's open. I'm like, well, you still can't do it. No stock trading from this computer during you know, normal hours. We can enforce that policy. Now, if somebody doesn't have that unique agent installed, so we don't know where they're coming from, well, we can still protect them, but we just use what's called a global protection policy. So the threat intelligence is constantly updated. We know where hostile things are, but we're not doing anything special. Why? Because we don't really know who you are, so we can't apply a company-specific policy. Um, so just wanted to encourage you to use the roaming client or the AnyConnect plugin to get the most out of your Cisco umbrella installation.